Good morning, everyone, <laughs> or whatever time you're watching this vlog. Today, I thought we would spend the day together alone, just me and you. Or if you're coming to New York City and you don't know what to do or are looking for plans, this video will definitely help you out. I have been meaning to spend a day just doing touristy stuff around New York City and kind of just going to all the spots I always see on my For You page that I never have time to go to. On Mondays, I don't have class, so I thought I would take this day to just gallivant around New York City and see what the city has to offer me that I haven't quite seen yet because I've been living here for like seven, seven months now. It's crazy. I also have some exciting news. I'm moving out of my dorm in two weeks to move into my first ever apartment and I'm obviously gonna vlog the moving in process and all of that, but I've never had my own apartment yet and this is really a big milestone for me. I've always wanted my own apartment. I'm moving in with my roommate, but we have two separate rooms and it's actually really spacious and I'm so excited and I'm so excited to just be vlogging every step of my life with you guys. I love having like my little digital diary with you guys. I don't know, it's so fun. I just wanted to get that all thrown out there. Sorry, I look at the state in this morning. My roommate's at class right now um, and she has like a three hour class on Mondays. So I'm alone here for a while. <laughs> yeah, if you're new here, welcome. Stay a while, love to have you here. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. Actually, first we need to clean this room because I have piles of just clothes that and boxes that need to go away that I've just been staring at for like two weeks. The lighting over here is terrible. I'm so sorry. for now it's not looking the best bed is not made life is still a mess but it will do it will it will hold before our excursion of a day starts i'm gonna go run to the market to get a bagel and cucumbers because i don't have any to make my breakfast this morning so i'm gonna go do that quickly and then i'll be back i guess <laughs> back from the grocery store got my little necessities to start the day guys the city's expensive, sure, but you gotta find the best places in the city to get your daily, um, I was probably yelling, I'm sorry. You gotta find the best places to get your daily necessities. I just got a bagel and a cucumber for a dollar at the grocery store, like an actual grocery store, not just like those side little places that they sell like vegetables and you're like, where did that come from? I don't know, but it's really cheap, no. I got it from an actual grocery store, obviously. Duh. There you go. Let's chit chat, let me cut this, let me cut this up. I look like a mess right now. I have no plans for today. One of the worst feelings in the world is about to finish your show. And let me put you guys on a show. If you have no show to watch yet, watch Ugly Betty on Netflix. I'm on the last three episodes of the whole entire show. This show has gotten me through college, okay? I literally owe my life to this show. It changed my life. Okay? Don't, don't. If you've watched that show and you don't feel the same, don't come for me. But you know those shows that just like have an impact on you, this show really, really did. It's starring America Ferreira, and I've probably talked about this show in like all of my vlogs. <laughs> I talk about this show way too much, but it's just because I need to put people on because it's like an early 2000s drama, kind of rom-com, comedy, like all of the genres in one. And it was like 2010s, I think it was filmed. It's one of those shows you can't stop watching. Like it started off as like one of my eating shows that I would just like play every time I ate, but eventually I just started watching it nonstop. like every single episode after it was over I would just skip to the next one like skip all of the intro and all of that and the recaps and I am obsessed with this show she is just such a phenomenal actress I pray to meet her one day genuinely I don't know where I don't know how I don't know when but it will happen quote me on that everyone I will meet America Ferrera one day and I'll probably cry I always make fun of people who okay I don't make fun but I think it's kind of weird when people cry when they meet like someone famous because it's like do you really know them her <laughs> I get it. I get it now. I would probably ball my eyes out if I met her. I don't know. It's such like a niche person of my age to be like interested in too, I feel like. But if I met America Ferrera, I might pass out on the spot. Anyways, if you don't know this by now, I'm making my go-to breakfast that I make every morning. Everything bagel with cucumbers and cream cheese. And if you haven't tried it yet, what are you doing? I put everyone on this and you can't... My, some of my friends used to make fun of me for eating it and then I was like, try it. They tried it, won't stop eating it. So I promise you... Just try it out. Just try it out for a day. One day. 
I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done making it, but it's so simple, literally takes five minutes to make. And I am also the furthest thing from a chef, okay? I don't even know who trusts me with a knife, but I am able to be in possession of one. I cannot cook for the life of me. It's one of those things that people are like, Any anyone could cook, like you just need to take the time to learn. No, I've tried, okay? During quarantine, I tried to be a cook. It didn't, I'm surprised it didn't burn my house down. So that's one thing I can't do, but I really can appreciate a good meal. I am not a picky eater. I will eat anything thrown at me. You can make me anything. You can make me like snail squid soup and I'd eat it. Uh, I'd probably eat it. I, don't, I really, I will eat anything. I do appreciate a good chef, but I also appreciate a simple meal from a box. This is the one meal I will never F up. Yeah. And if you guys want to get creative with it, I started to put avocado on it and a little bit of hot sauce. That is an acquired taste for sure, but I love hot sauce. I put it on everything. I'll show you guys when it's done. <laughs> How yummy. Okay, probably I am not the best at making my food look appetizing, but it is so good. It's like the most refreshing little snack to start the morning, but it also is so filling. This is my little show. I'm going to go watch it and then... We're gonna get ready for the day. I might film my get ready with me. Also, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, I feel like most of you come from there. But if you don't, that's what that is. Anyway, I'll come back to you guys when my makeup is done and we are going to spend the day together. I'm gonna be alone. You guys will be there in spirit. Anyway, let's just, let's just wrap it up. I'm a D1 yapper, okay. I'm back and we are officially ready to start our mission today. Anyway. Let's go to the subway. Hi, <laughs> Gianna loves the vlog. <laughs> GG love. Oh. <laughs> Ran into oh my, my friends on my day alone. Can't ever be alone. You have no friends. Dad bleep, Addison Ray. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was just reminded that there's a solar eclipse today. I forgot that that was all happening. Guys, I waited the whole walk here to try this with you. It was very tempting. This is she. Look how pretty. I'm in a park right now. Such a nice day. Such the perfect day to just sit and ponder on life and why I exist. <laughs> anyway, let's try it. I'm like scared. This was nine dollars, by the way. Nine fifty to be exact. Disappointed to say the least. Okay, wait. It has a good aftertaste. It's. I mean, it's. I got the strawberry moonlight matcha, whatever that entails. Tastes like strawberry milk watered down, but like not like strawberry milk from the store. If I were to hand make strawberry milk, that's what this tastes like, but like with water. I mean, it's good, but not for almost $10. But I'll continue to drink it too. It's very pure. Okay, I'm giving you guys like a whole review, like anyone really cares. So I don't know what to do next. I was planning, can you guys even see me? I can't really see you. You know what my biggest fear is? Seeing Matthew Gray Googler when I'm not prepared. I've I've never seen anyone famous in the city yet, which is actually really surprising because everyone always asks me, who's the most famous person you've seen? And I don't know what to tell them because I've never seen it. Actually, I met Jet and Pookie last night, <laughs> but I didn't just bump into them. We were in, I was at an event and insert the clip here. Hi Jet. Pookie, you look fire tonight. <laughs> I just, I can die happy now. This is not good. <laughs> this place is known for their like cookie croissant, but I went there and they ran out. So I ended up getting this. But anyway, I met Pook and Jet. Pook. <laughs> I met Pook. I met Pookie and Jet last night and it was really chill. It was chill vibes and they, they were loving it. So that was actually, I guess my first celebrity sighting, if you will. Besides that, I haven't seen anyone famous ever, I'd think. You know who my friends run into a lot though? My friends are always running into Timothy Chalamet. They always see him and I don't know where or how or why. I just saw the other day a paparazzi photo of him and he was just like casually at a bodega getting like a bagel. So I guess he's just always around. Moral of the story, I am terrified to see Matthew Gray Goobler when I don't look good because that is my, you know people are like, who's your celebrity crush him? Him, Criminal Minds, his character in Criminal Minds changed, changed me. 
everyone's really attractive to the most attractive guy in the show. I think Morgan, I think his name is. But personally me. I'm a Matthew Greg Googler type of girl. Let's see where to go next. Okay. I've gathered my thoughts and I decided we're gonna go do what I don't need to do any more of, and that's go shopping. <laughs> I'm gonna head over to Greenwich Village. I think it's only a 15 minute walk from where I am right now, which is honestly not as bad as I thought. So we're gonna go do that. Oh my God, there's so many kids getting out of school right now. One thing about me, I wish I was a city kid, born and raised a city kid. I grew up in like upstate New York in like the forest. Okay, that's a lie. It wasn't really like before. I have a forest in my backyard, but it wasn't like really too upstate, I guess. But I grew up in upstate New York and I just wish that I had the courage and strength of a city kid because they, come out a different breed, but I was a late developer. I can attest to the fact that I was still playing with dolls in middle school. I'm gonna throw that one out there. But no, city kids are like a different breed. Like there's a playground over here and there's like so many unattended kids. When I came to the city in high school, my parents were like, FaceTime me every 10 minutes. <laughs> I, I want to raise a city kid so bad. Anyways. Right here. thrifting flop. I didn't get anything. I like that last dress that I tried on, but I was just like, where am I going to wear it, realistically? But all of New York is getting together to see the solar eclipse. It is the cutest thing ever. I have not seen New York this united in forever. I love little things like this where everyone can just like, I don't know, it's so pure. It's so cute. Literally everyone on the streets is wearing their little glasses and it's adorable. Yeah, I am. I have my sunglasses. I won't look directly at the sun. I also don't think that my eyesight could get any worse than it is right now. I can't see within 10 feet in front of me, ever. All right, I'm on my way home because I have to pee so bad. And if you live in New York City or you know New York City, you know that no one will let you use the bathroom without buying something. And I am not hungry. So that would go to waste. I saw the eclipse. Some nice guy was like, do you want to borrow my glasses? Because he saw that I didn't have any. So I borrowed them and I saw it. So that was nice. That is it right there. All right, I'll see you guys on the subway. I made it back home. I just got off the subway and I really, really, really want a sandwich. But I don't know where to go. So I just put in my maps. <laughs> I typed in sandwich. Anyways. I really want a sandwich. I don't know what kind. I want an Italian combo, but that's like too, it's too much for me right now. What if I just get a bagel, but I had one this morning? Who's telling me no? Who's stopping me? No one. So sometimes I need to stop myself. Also, I didn't have glasses for the solar eclipse, but you know who did? You know who was prepared? My father. Oh my God, man came prepared. I wasn't prepared, but he knew days in advance, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna, <gasps> Buffalo chicken wrap. That's what I want. Let's go find it. All right, I'm back home. Let's unbox this wrap. I when I when I asked her for a buffalo chicken wrap, she looked at me a little funny, and I was like, "Buffalo chicken wrap, please." And she was like, and I was like "So let's see what, what's going on here." Oh my God! You guys. She's pranking me. She was pranking me. It's solar eclipse prank day. Duh. Wait, bro, that looks fire. Wow. So I will be devouring that. Um, honestly, I have nothing else planned. I have to do homework later. I have to edit some videos. Look who's home. Hi. Look who's home. Hi, guys. What's up, vloggers? That wraps up my video perfectly. I'm ending it here and my day isn't alone anymore. Now she's with me.
Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have to do some homework, edit some videos, and I have a few really fun campaigns coming up soon that you guys will see that I'm working on, and I really want to tell you, but I can't yet. So you're just gonna have to wait. But other than that, nothing really going on in my life. I would share what is going on, but I vlog it every single day. But yeah, I'm gonna watch my little show. I wanted to do like a quick vlog for you guys because all of my vlogs have been like 30-ish minutes. So we're trying a shorter form vlog this week. And let me know your feedback stuff. Oh, I also um, just did a new little jewelry stock going on with my silver jewelry. Um, oh, should I just tell you guys where all my jewelry is from? I think I will, I think I will. I keep getting like questions about where it's from and I have a jewelry tour on my TikTok from a while ago. You'd probably have to scroll to find it. So this is my updated jewelry tour for anyone who wanted to know or cares. So earrings, I, oh man, I'm also breaking out really bad. Let's not zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. Put it in your pocket. Put it in your pocket. Earrings are actually from Forever 21. I got them a while ago in like a pack of three for like $3 or something, but they don't tarnish at all. Um, and they have these little I don't know. It's really cute. And then I have my second hole pierced too, but I never am wearing jewelry in there. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> Hi. Up close and personal. Then for necklaces, these two are from Vibe Season. They sent me a bunch of really cute necklaces, and they even sent me my name personalized in a bracelet and a necklace. And it looks just like this, but this one's actually from Every Jewels, but it looks kind of just like this. Again, with Every Jewels, I feel like I hear a lot of bad stuff about them a lot of the time, but. I wear a lot of Every Jewels and my skin doesn't turn green. And I've been wearing it since like my junior year of high school. Bracelets, this little Italian charm bracelet. Wait, let's zoom in a little bit. Little hearts on it and it kind of hurts sometimes. It gets stuck in my skin. But it is from Amazon. It's in my Amazon storefront. I have to update that. I haven't updated that in a while. Uh, this watch is actually from the Chelsea Flea in the city. I got it for $3. And then fun fact, I, oh, wrong way. Fun fact of the day, I was curious like what brand this was and you can kind of see, it's not gonna focus, but there's like a tiny name in it. So I looked it up and this this watch resells for $600, which is so crazy. Oh, I know, isn't that wild? But I also get so many compliments on it all the time. Like, where's Wait, it from? which one? This um, watch. Oh, I love that one. Right? That one you got at the fleet? Yeah, for $3. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah. Then this bracelet, is from Pandora. One of my best friends got it for me for my birthday a couple years ago. These two are from Every Jewels, I think. From Every Jewels. This is a little rusty, I will say, but I've been wearing this on my wrist since my junior year of high school again. These two are also from Vibe Season. The one with my name and then the little chain one. Uh, and then rings. Ending it off with rings. Vibe Season. They really decked me out and got me prepared. And one thing about me, I only wear... I only wear silver jewelry. When I do find a brand I like that sells silver jewelry, I keep on promoting it so you guys all know because it is so hard to find silver jewelry. It really is. At least good silver jewelry. We're you know both what I'm silver girlies. Yeah, we're we're very silver girlies at heart. Then this is my Gucci heart ring. This is my initials. It says GLC. Diana Love Caldera. Sweet, sweet. Anyone forgets my name, I have it branded on me, on my necklace, on my wrist and on my rings so you will never forget me i got inspired from one of my best friends at school she got it and i was like i am totally copying you so i did the same thing so shout out sadie i love you and on this hand this is this is from every jewels and it just says angel on it i got as a birthday gift from my best friend from pandora i'm pretty sure and this was my best friend who passed away this was her ring and her mom gave it to me after um the funeral so that was very very sentimental it's my favorite piece of jewelry i own and will never take off until i die so yeah leaving you with that i'm gonna go eat this and talk to maggie because i haven't seen her all day and i love you guys <laughs> and thank you for watching Mwah.